Hello cat friends, it's Jenny from Cookies Cacti. This video is not about cactus. This one's another one about managing cat health issues. So my dear Cookie has several chronic health issues and so she is on three different medications right now. Two of the medications are given every 12 hours and one of the medications is given once a day. And I'm gonna show you how I medicate her my goal always in all this different health management stuff is to make the whole process as pleasant as possible for everybody. So one of the medications that Cookie's on is levothyroxine and it is to treat for hypothyroidism because Cookie is hypothyroid after her radioiodine therapy. So she was hyperthyroid before and the therapy certainly cured her of the hyperthyroidism but it left her thyroid not fully functional, so she supplemented with levothyroxine. And so I get her levothyroxine medication compounded into these treats, and you can see they're like these chicken chews. Unfortunately, the, this type of compound is extremely expensive, so that's about $95 for a month worth of these treats, and these are uh, twice a day, so we get 60 treats for 90 $95, I think. So the second medication that Cookie is on is amlodipine, which is to treat her of her high blood pressure, most likely due to her renal disease. So what I do is I take one of these soft treats for the thyroid medication. I break it in half. One of them will have nothing in it, which I roll into this little ball. Okay. And the other one will have the amlodipine stuck in it. So her amlodipine, she's on, I forgot what dosage, but one of these pills is two and a half milligrams. And we cut the pill into quarters. So I'm going to hide one of those quarter pills into one of these soft treats. And I heard that the amlodipine is actually very bitter. So if you don't have like this soft treat like this, because I'm actually hiding a medication in another medication, um, you can use pill pockets. And I'm going to show you another example of her third medication in just a little bit. Let's go get this to her. So remember, one of these is empty, you know, just, just the medicine treat. The other one has amlodipine stuck in it. So what I usually do is I give her the one that doesn't have anything first. Hi, Cookies. Are you very cute? Let's see if we can do this or not. Oh, you don't have to get up. You don't have to get up. Hi, Cookies. I've got a snack for you. Oh, Cookies. There you go. So that's the first one that has nothing in it. It kind of preps her for the second one that has the amlodipine in it. Oops, it rolled. I'm always like, don't chew too much. Kiki. <laughs> Kiki. Okay, I've got one more medication that she takes twice a day. So the amlodipine, which is the blood pressure medication, she only takes once a day. So in the evening, we will not repeat that you know, that quarter pill being stuck inside the treat. All right, so we're done with the amlodipine. Her third medication that she's on is tylosine. Tylosine? Tylosine? It's an antibiotic, and she's on this because we did a cobalamin folate test, and her folate was really high because she has suspected either inflammatory bowel disease or you know, small cell lymphoma, so she's got some GI issues. We did the cobalamine folate test and it came back really high on folate, which indicates she has potentially overgrowth of certain type of bacteria in her gut. So she's on tylosin twice a day for at least four weeks for now to get that bacteria under control and see if it helps her with her GI problems. But you see, this is a size three capsule. It is not small. And I was so full of anxiety on how in the world I was gonna pill her with this twice a day. And so this is how I do it. I take 
take a pill pocket. What I do, sorry about how dark it is. It's like a, it almost feels like a Play-Doh. You can kind of shape it to whatever uh, shape. Um, and this is actually a little bit too big, but it's okay, I'll take off the excess. And then what I do is I roll the capsule into this pill pocket so that it surrounds the capsule. I used to use her thyroid medication because it was already a soft treat, but that thyroid medication, that treat kind of dries up over time and so it becomes more and more crumbly and I can't wrap the, the capsule with that thyroid medication anymore. See, so I try to do it so that it's surrounding the capsule and then I kind of take off the excess and then I add whatever I need back on to completely surround the capsule uh, with the treat. And you can see this is not small. I'm just trying to get, sometimes this takes, some days it's easier for me and some days it's a little bit harder to kind of mold the treat around the capsule. You can see we're just about there. See? Completely encapsulated and it's not small, you see? It's pretty big. Cookie's not a huge fan of these pill pocket flavors, so what I do is I take Fortiflora, which is a probiotic by Purina, and it has a flavor to it, and she likes this flavor. So I just dump one of these packets into you know some sort of container. And then what do I do? I coat this treat with the Fortiflora. And I hope I don't jinx myself and that this is the one time she actually won't eat this, but let's go try. Let's see if she'll do it on camera. See, so I just kind of like lightly coat the treat with Fortiflora. It's got this brown powder all over it. Let's go see if she'll eat it. Ready for your treat? A treat, treat, treat. Here we go. Oops. It's rolling everywhere. Now the hatch. You're such a good girl. My goodness, Kiki. Is it delicious? So that's how I medicate Cookie. Three different medications in the morning. Two at night, it's not going to lie, it's quite difficult. I mean, somebody always has to be around to give her the medications, and they have to know how. Hope that can be helpful for somebody out there. Take care, bye-bye.